everybody. Welcome back to Second Chance Saturday. What I'm going to be doing tonight, I have um, a tall cookie tin. We get these usually at Christmas time from Sam's Club. So I decided to take this tin and make it into a snowman, one that I can use for a wreath attachment. So we're going to cover this with a uh, fleece. And all I'm going to do is hot glue it to the can. Now I've chose to take it all the way up to the top, up to the lid. This fleece is really thick, so my chances of getting burned are minimal. What I also want to do, I made a hole in the can here, if you can see. I took a couple of drill bits and kind of moved it over because I bought this little corn cob pipe and I want to put that in there. So I need to make a little hole incision. We're operating. sure you don't have any glitter on your board or any other stuff because this fleece really picks it up. Other components I have here, I have little hat that's going to be his little hat. So we're going to glue the corn cob pipe in there. I want to get this situated so I know where everything else is going to go. All right, I have some little leaves here that I'm going to use to decorate his hat. The little floral embellishments that you would use in crafting, scrapbooking, or cards, or whatever. I thought it'd be cute to put a few of these on here. use holly or anything like that snowflakes and I have these little glitter shapes grab a few of those to make it look like holly on his hat I don't know how well these will stick so I'm going to add a little bit of glue Well, obviously they stick pretty good to my craft mat. <laughs> I just didn't think the adhesive would be strong enough to hold in place. He's got a little hat with some embellishments on it. So, I'm not sure that these wiggly eyes are big enough. I kind of like these button eyes. So, I'm going to take the uh, back of the button things off. 
so it'll lay flatter on the um, snowman. There's the other. Let's give them some buttons down here. And I, I kind of like these gold ones. So I may just go ahead. Let's figure out where we're going to put a scarf first. This is actually um, Sam's Club ribbon. I may end up like drawing his nose or his, excuse me, his uh, mouth. There we go. I kind of want to make this look a little frayed. So. And again, you could use anything for the scarf. Uh, let's see. I didn't bring my big button container down. I know I have better buttons that I can use for the mouth. So, or I also have these. I think I'll use these. These are what I can use for the buttons down his, yeah. They're left over from Halloween. And you can use whatever you have. Now I do have some sticks here that came off my grapevine wreath. Kind of like it there. does not want to stay, does it? Well, I may have to get like a bigger branch outside. Because this is a round container, so it may have a little trouble. There. I wonder if I bend it like that. There. Okay, so basically I have to come up with something for his mouth. And, I don't know, maybe we could make him look festive. No, I'm, I'm going to come up with the perfect mouth, but for right now, I just wanted to get on, make sure I got this in, because I didn't get it in last week. Um could actually let's 
see what he looks like with a gold mouth. These are the right size. So maybe if I just put a few of these on there. Yeah, let's spruce them up a little. One, two, three. That'll do. It'll make them look festive. And we'll put three on the other side. These are called glitter shapes. They come 27 in a pack. I'm sure you can find them in like the scrapbooking aisle. Oops. All right. And what's nice about the ribbon, we can kind of make it go the way we want it to go. And see, we could, we could just attach this to a wreath we could have, I could have um, drilled two holes in the back and slipped a um, pipe cleaner through so we have something to grab on. Or it's lightweight enough where we could, we could um, just glue it to a wreath. Oh, you know what? We forgot. Well, I glued it in the wrong spot. I think it'll hold here. It's kind of beveled, so it doesn't sit real well. There. I have got snowman nose. Snowman. It's not a snowman without a carrot. His nose, right? There we go. Got a cute little snowman ready for a wreath or any table setting. I think next time I would put the corn cob pipe up a little higher and brought this up a little higher. I can do something here to kind of visually bring it down. But there we go. Our snowman out of a tall cookie tin. All right. I appreciate you stopping by for Second Chance Saturday. Um, look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye-bye.